Hi, I'm Jos Overschie, passionate trainer and consultant at Ovedicon. And in this video, I want to tell you more about a pump and pump. And we do that by telling you about the function, the parts and the rotation direction, but also why has a certain impeller a certain capacity and a certain impeller a certain total head. We have several kinds of impellers, like this one, a vortex impeller, or this one, different form, an open impeller. But we also have channel impellers, like this, And this one, a closed impeller. And the function of all these impellers is the same. To add kinetic energy to the medium. But now something more about the parts of an impeller. Therefore, I have a closed impeller in my hand. And this is an unwelded impeller. So I can take it apart. Here we see the impeller eye. The medium will enter the impeller through the impeller. I. This is called the front shroud. This is the connection between the impeller and the shaft of the motor. And if I take the front shroud off, only two parts are left. The back shroud of the impeller and right here you see the veins of the impeller. In this case it are curved veins. With this impeller, you see straight veins. And if this impeller is selected right, the medium will come in the impeller through the impeller eye and it will follow the complete line of this curved vein before it goes out to the impeller to the pump housing. And how this impeller is working, we see in the coming video. Let's take a look at this animation and maybe you saw this animation in the YouTube video about the working principle of a centrifugal pump. But now we take a closer look at the rotation direction of the impeller. That rotation direction you can also see on the pump housing. They show it to you with an arrow and that's very important because more than 40% of all the pumps I saw in my life were turning the wrong direction. And the pump is pumping capacity, is doing total head, but not the capacity and total head you as expected. Back to this animation, you see that the impeller is turning clockwise. In this case, clockwise. There are pumps where the right turning direction, rotation direction of the impeller is anti-clockwise, so be aware of that. I already showed you the curved veins of the impeller. And as you see in the animation, the impeller is throwing the medium away and not scooping the medium. It has to follow the complete curved line of the impeller to get the expected capacity and total head of the pump. Now about the capacity of an impeller. I have two impellers here and I'm sure that this impeller will give you more capacity than this impeller. How do I know that? If I hold the impellers like this, you can look inside and you see the distance between the back shroud and the front shroud. In this one, and you see it here, that small opening in this impeller. And the distance between those two shrouds will tell you the capacity of a pump impeller. So the bigger the distance, the higher the capacity the impeller will give you. So the distance is very important. And now about the total head an impeller will give you. I have an impeller like this and an impeller like this. You see the difference in diameter. The bigger the diameter, the higher pump total head the impeller will give you. So this impeller 
gives you just a small total head and this impeller will give you a much higher total head and that's because of the difference in diameter. So for the capacity it is the distance between the back and the front shroud and for the total head it is the difference between the diameter of the impeller. So now we know about the function of the impeller, the parts of an impeller and the rotation direction. You know about the capacity and the total head and I hope you enjoyed watching this video and maybe you learned something. And if there is a question left, please drop it in comments below. And if you want to learn more, take a look on our website and see what e-learning courses are available and what for consultancy work we did in the field. I hope to see you again. Bye.